Good evening, everyone. My name is Ryan Moses, a Christian by faith, and I am a student of engineering. My question, sir, is, according to Islam, both Jesus and Muhammad were prophets. But Prophet Isa, besides his miracles, had an unnatural birth and never died, according to Islam. Besides, he has a prominent role to play in the Day of Judgment against Dajjal. Don't you think this special preference given to him by Allah makes him more than just a prophet? Brother Bayan has asked a very good question. He said that Islam believes that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them are prophets of God. But when you compare their lives, we realize that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Isa salam, had unnatural birth, meaning that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, and he did not die. So don't these two qualities make him superior to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Before I reply to your question, I would like to make it very clear that Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any main intervention. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims, we are going together. But there is parting of ways. The parting of ways is that many of the Christians they claim and they think that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity and he was Almighty God. First, I'll reply to your these queries that if Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was born miraculously, he had a mother but had no father, so doesn't it make him superior to Prophet Muhammad, indicating that doesn't mean he's God? If you say that Jesus is superior or you claim him to be God because he was born miraculously, he had no father. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 59, Allah says, Inna masal Isa in the like of Masal Adam. The similitude of Jesus, peace be upon him, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the same as Adam, peace be upon him. He was made from dust, and Allah said, Be and he was. If you say that Jesus is God because he had no father, in that context, according to the Quran and according to your Bible, Adam, peace be upon him, had no mother and father, that makes him a greater God. <laughs> nowhere does the Bible, nowhere does Allah say in the Quran that because a person has no father, he becomes Almighty God. Allah is the best to create. He wanted to show people his power. Normally, a human being is born with a father and mother. He had an example of Adam al Salam, who was born without a father and mother. You have the example of Bibi Hawa, if may Allah be pleased with her, who was born without any female. The last example pending was a person being born without a father, which he fulfilled in the birth of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Coming to your second query, that we Muslims believe, and even the Bible says, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not die. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 157, 158, Allah says that he was not killed, neither was he crucified, but Allah raised him up unto himself. So the question is that if Jesus did not die, he's alive, isn't he a greater prophet than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? The reply, brother, is, that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ peace be upon him, was the only messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whose followers mistook him that he claimed divinity. There is not a single prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, whose followers mistook that he claimed divinity. Because he was the only prophet whose followers mistook that he claimed he was God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive so that in his second coming, he could testify to these people that he never claimed divinity. That's what Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 116, that in his second coming, he will tell 
is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you be my witness. I never told them to worship me, but I told them, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who's my Lord and your Lord. The same thing is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, that in the second coming, when people will say, O oh Master, O oh Master, did we not do wonders and miracles in your name? He will say, E evil men, I don't even know you. You depart from here. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, has raised up Jesus Christ, peace be upon alive, because in the second coming, he will not give any new message. Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger, which is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 40. After him and after the Quran was revealed, nothing new can be added or subtracted from the religion of Islam. He will come as the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He will come not to give any new teaching, just to testify to the followers that he never claimed divinity and he is the messenger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So the major difference between the Muslim and the Christians is that most of the Christians think that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If any Christian can point out a single verse in the Bible, a single unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, a single unambiguous statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity just now. I'm not speaking on behalf of my other Muslim brothers. I'm putting my head on the guillotine. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God is a Muslim. So Bible says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. And it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts. Chapter number two, verse number 22. E men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him and you were witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him and you were witness to it. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity, but he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brother, are you convinced that Jesus is not God. I did not say Jesus is God. I did I not. I said what I, is his position according to Islam. I never said that you said Jesus was God. I am asking you a question. Are you convinced that Jesus is not God? Yes, I am convinced of that. But I want to clarify his position in Islam. He, Brother, he before I answer, didn't I tell you he believed that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God? No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. A Muslim cannot be a Muslim if he doesn't believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God, but he was not God. So do you believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not God? Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? I believe that Jesus Christ being a prophet was more than a prophet. That doesn't make him God, but his position is unknown. What is his exact position? He's more than a prophet, but not God. But what is his position? He is a prophet of God, he's a messenger. But he doesn't qualify to be a prophet because he has done uh, like unnatural birth, unnatural death, and again day of judgment coming. Brother, such a did, big, such brother a big did you hear my answer? If you claim that he is somewhere more than a prophet because he was unnatural born, he was born without a father, then Adam, peace be upon him, becomes a bigger. But then Adam Jesus, peace be upon him. But Adam had a death, natural death. But Adam, there was no misconception amongst the followers of Adam, peace be upon him, that he claimed divinity. I There's a misconception amongst the followers of Christians that they claim that he was God. That's the reason Allah kept him alive. Okay. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you. But he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. 
Now, this prophecy refers to no one but Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if you're a good Christian, if good you're evening, a person everyone. who believes in Jesus Christ, peace My be upon him, if you believe Moses, in his teaching, then you also have to believe that there's I'm someone else to come who shall guide My you. Question, sir, is and that is Prophet Muhammad, peace Islam, be upon him. So that's Jesus the reason I'm saying that if you're a true believer prophets. in Jesus Christ, peace but be upon Prophet him, Isa, you have to believe in Prophet Muhammad, otherwise you're not a true believer.